Hi, I'm coming to you from Nars Narstown Eagles home field, Roosevelt Field. I'm Eric Halverson, here with Scott Bachman to describe tonight's action during the game between Narstown and Cross City rival Bishop Kenrick Knights. Scott, how does the weather look tonight? It's a beautiful night for football this evening, and the playing conditions are very nice. Ground is nice and dry. Looks like a good evening for a passing game to be in good, good use. Okay, well, uh, it seems, seems, uh, who won the coin toss tonight, Scott? It seems Narstown won the coin toss tonight, and they choose to receive. Rusty Hauer will be kicking off for the Bishop Kemrick Knights. Back to receive the the uh, kick should be Steve De Blasio. The kick from the 40. Here it is. It's a low line kick, dropped by number 27, but he picks it up and is tackled hard at the 30. Roger Lloyd pick, fielded that. Didn't look like much of a run back. Okay, the night, the Eagles offense comes on the field, led by David Sessa, senior. Takes a handoff. And run to Marcus Allen for a pickup of five. Uh, Sessa is a uh, senior this year. He's, uh, he's six, six feet, 190. And that run went to Marcus Smith, I believe, number 32. Here they are, they lining up again. Second down and four. Handoff goes to John Rutman, and he breaks it out for a 10 yard gain. That looked like a nice run by Rutman. Had good blocking, had a nice open hole. That'll be a first down for the Norristown Eagles. First and ten. First and ten for the Eagles. Marcus Smith takes one to a gain about four yards. Dave Sessa leading the Eagles into his second year. Started as a junior for the Eagles. Last year he had his career high 141 yards against the Bishop Kenrick Knights. Yeah, and do you know, Scott, that the Bishop Kenrick Knights haven't had a lead against the Norristown Eagles since 1978? And they also haven't won against Norristown since 1977. Handoff, pitchback goes to John Rutman. He's down the sideline. 
He broke, he broke a number of tackles that time and picked up about 12 yards. He gains the first down on the play. It's now first and 10. Good crowd here tonight, Scott. Looks like just about a sellout with still people filing in. Lay on up at scrimmage. First and 10 from the 38. First, first pass attempt. Sessa scrambles. Oh, he passes it to Priest Ramsey. And he gets dragged down to about the 30. Looks to like about a the first down, Scott. He makes it to about the 26 yard line. It was a nice play by Sessa as he rolled out to his right. First town again with a little over nine minutes to go in the game in the first quarter. <laughs> Muffled play goes to Marcus Smith, but he still manages to get about a yard on that one. It looked as though they tried a fake pitch and then handed off to Smith around the right end. Mark Second and nine it will be. Very tough yard game by Marcus Smith, who is a senior this year. He's 6'0", 215. Single setback. Oh! Dave Sessa gets sacked for a loss of, of six. Nice that, play there by Mark DiGregorio, number 48 for the Knights. DiGregorio, pardon, is a junior, six feet, 190. Third and 17, loss of about eight on that. Third down, ultimate passing. Sessa draws back, oh! He tried a little screen to Smith, but it, it was tagged for a loss. That brings up fourth down. That was a loss of 10 yards. In Eagles are going to have the point. Priest Ramsey is in. Okay. The punt is high. Looks like about 40 yard punt. And it, Eagles down it on about the 12 yard line. Poor field position coming up for the Knights. Knights will gain their first possession of the evening with six, 6.45 left in the first quarter. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Now the Eagles will line up. Quarterbacking for the Knights will be number 12, John Haley. Haley's a senior. Oh, the handoff gets muffled at the line of scrimmage. Maybe fights off a tough yard. Brian, you keep an eye on like who's running the ball. Second down and eight for the Knights. The handoff went to Mark G. Dorgio. 
That was a pickup of about two. It's now third down and six. Eagles defense looks tough against the run tonight. I'd say that was one of their main focuses on doing this season. Last year they had a problem with the defense. Now it's a more mature team. Number 35 in motion. Pass. Oh, is bobbled and dropped. By Matt McCart. And the Knights will be forced to punt deep in their own territory. Steve de Blasio and Priest Ramsey are out to receive the kick at about the 40 yard line. Here's the punt, almost blocked. Good kick, and it's down, and it's down, and it's down at about the Eagle 45 by Matt McCart. About a 35 yard punt there by Rusty Hauer. About 70 degrees tonight. Weather couldn't be any better. Narstown now starting from their own 45. Sessa, the give is, is to uh, Rutman. Pick up of about five. Tackle is made by Mark DiGorgio. He's having a good game tonight, Scott. Yes, he seems to be all, everywhere this evening, making runs and playing an awesome defense also, stopping John Rutman on that, play, that run play. I'll say. Sessa back to receive the snap. There it is, another handoff. Give us to Rutman up the middle. He's breaking tackles. Gets all the way to the opposition 30. Nice run by Rutman. Looked like about a 20-yard gain there, Scott. Breaking tackles right up the middle. Rutman really is a good runner. Tackle by Lorenzo DeSimone. First and 10 at the 31 with 3.40 left to play in this first quarter. Blasio in motion. Give again, looks like to Rutman. He breaks tackles up the middle again. Breaks another tackle. He's going to the outside. Looks like, oh, we got brought down at the one. Tough play. He ran right around through the middle, broke tackles left and right, and came down at about the one. 29 yard pickup. Matt McCart on the stop. That was a desperation job right there. That was simply a great run, Scott. It'll be first and goal for the Eagles. Looks like it's on the three. 322 left to play in this first quarter. Nice run by Rutman. Rutman last week just, just achieved the thousand yard mark for playing for the Eagles. It was he's just been a total complete player for the Eagles. Where would they be without him? Uh, Sessa looks like he's taking it in himself. Touchdown! Dave Sessa. On the quarterback sneak. A nice play there. Looked like a handoff, but instead he used his running backs to block for him. Eagles take a 6-0 lead with three minutes to play in the first quarter. A good drive shown there by the Eagles. Yes, yeah, so it was very well execu executed. And it really it took no time at all. It only took about two minutes to get that drive going. Interesting to note, no passing plays on that drive. I know, that was a drive of 60 yards all on the ground. Now here's the extra point attempt. High oh, snap, throws. They're, they're taking it to pass. Incomplete, incomplete. Pass drive by Sessa, who was the holder. Score remains six to zero, Narstown. With three minutes left in the game, in that quarter. Let me get to our uh, fine camera people working the game tonight. 
Brian Rigner and Valerie Sandler are working for NASD. This uh, program is produced by Tony Koya for the Narstown Area School District TV. There's certainly a fine turnout for tonight's game because a good show for both teams tonight. Looks like the uh, Knights won't get a lead in this game to start either. And that's Rodney Miller to kick off to the, to the Bishop Kenrick Knights. There's a kick, a low line drive goes pretty far though, picked up on the run. Oh, a good run back there. Took it back to about the 35. 15 yard run back. Uh, Jay Cipriano. He's 5'9", 155, only a sophomore for Bishop Kenrick. That's the, that's the thing that worries about this up and coming uh, Bishop Kenrick team. They are very young, which most of their players are either juniors or sophomores. So most of their team will be returning for the 1990 season. Okay, Bishop Cameron gets their second possession. The give is to Mark DiGioia with Priest Ramsey coming out with the stop. Pushes him out. That'll be a first down for the Knights. About a 12 yard pickup. A really well designed play. Fake, fake handoff, and then the quarterback went bootlegging around the right end. There's an injured person uh, on the ground. <laughs> Lovely performance given by the Norristown area high school cheerleaders. Hey, Norris Town's head coach, while well, we have some time, is Roger Grove. Okay, there his assistant head coaches are Rich Everts, Joe Fabrizio, Brian Kennedy, Tim Parentosi, and Jim Pyle. Man still down on the field. <laughs> Looks like there was a personal foul called on against the Eagles in that last play. That was Phil Jean who was down on the field. He walks off ably of his own accord. First down and 10. Nice performance by the cheerleaders there. First down and 10 on the Eagle 30, 39. Jay Cipriano in motion. And then the give was to Mark Giangorgio. What was stopped immediately at the line of scrimmage by. Kem Johnson. Here they are up the line again. It was a loss of two on that last play. Knight set up again. Quarterback draw. He goes down the sidelines. He's forced out of bounds by 
Priest Ramsey. And Jen Thomas out there to help also. That play by the uh, Bishop Cameron Knights seems to really be working. John Haley's having a good night rushing on that bootleg around the right end. Ball on the 26 yard line. The Give was to Frank Bruno on that play. Looked like the stop was made by Marcus Smith. Marcus Smith is really an all around player. He starts for the Norristown area high school wrestling team also. He made the states with a fourth medallion. Okay, they line, line up on about the third, the 24 yard line, it's second down and eight. Frank Bruno in motion. Could have back draw, oh, he gets stopped for a loss. Excellent play there by Mike Evans, stopping him for a loss. He tried that very same play, running around the right end, and Evans took him down hard. Mike Evans, 6'3", 205 pounds, senior. Another all-around person plays for the Norristown Area High School basketball team. There was a loss of five on that last play. It's now third down and 13. Looks like a definite passing situation here for John Haley. And there's a flag on the play. It's a delay of game against the British Knight, Bishop Ken Kenrick Knights. This puts Bishop Kenrick in a deep hole at third, third down and 18. That penalty pretty much put him out of field goal position for now. But just four seconds left in this uh, first quarter. <laughs> Has Haley passed it all this, seat, uh, this game? Timeout is called by the Bishop Kenrick Knights. Well, we had this break. Bishop Kenner good during the offseason. Had a change from the Catholic League, which was very tough, to an independent league. They're now an independent uh, team, which would give them a little more slack in their football season. Kenrick, by the way, got a big win last week over uh, Upper Marion. Mark my words, Bishop Kenrick is a team to look forward to in the 1990-1991 seasons. <laughs> All right, play is about to resume with four seconds left in the first period. Here's the play. Haley, handy, Haley scrambles in the pass. He's hit on the play. Oh, batted away by Jeff Thomas. That ball was almost intercepted, Scott. Looks like two Bishop Kemmerich players down on the field now. That might be quarterback Jeff Haley, which would be a major loss to the major Bishop Kenrick Knights. He was certainly being pursued very quickly on that play um, while rolling out to his left. Now 
net play marked the end of the first quarter. Score ends the first quarter at 6 0 Norristown Eagles. That was Haley's second passing attempt. He's 0 for 2 tonight. I think that last play was almost intercepted intercepted by number one, Jeff Thomas, who is a 5'11", 175-pound junior. It must have just bounced right off his, the front of his chest. He plays a little quarterback, too. And I, I, believe, I believe it hit his, hit his hands, but he had a tough, a tough leap to get, even reach that one. He plays basketball, too, doesn't he? 